So here's how to use Remote Play using PSP Update 3.80 and the PS3 System Update 2.10. Okay, so hook up your PSP to the PS3 with a USB cable. Go to Settings on the PSP and set it to USB Connection and Settings on the PS3 and go to Remote Play Settings. So the first thing you have to do is register the PSP and just hit OK and the PS3 will register the PSP. You can see it on your registered device list. Another option you have is to put remote start on or off which will enable you to turn your PS3 on or off remotely. Okay so go to your network settings and select remote play. Now we're ready to access the PS3 with the PSP. Okay so go under your network settings on your PSP and select remote play. It will ask you if you want to connect through the internet or private network. For this example, we're doing through private network. So when you select your connection, you'll see PlayStation 3, which was added. Once it connects, you'll see the PlayStation 3's cross-media bar. And here's some things that you could do, uh, like access the PlayStation Store and download some stuff onto your PS3. You can also access the internet browser and go on the web with it. You can check out your saved images and photos on the PS3 under the photos on the cross media bar. You can also check out any videos that you have saved on the PS3. You can also access your game menu um, where you see here Unreal Tournament 3 comes up but it's not compatible with remote play. Lair is one of the games that is as well as PlayStation 1 games as you're seeing here you can play on remote play from the disk or from downloads from the PlayStation Store. Hit the home button on the PSP and you'll be taken to this other menu where you can assign buttons for your uh, PSP to PS3 controller. And here's where you could turn off the PS3 remotely if you turned that option on earlier that you saw.